Warning, the following video contains sexual stuff. Viewer discretion is advised. I know, I know what you're thinking right now. Currently, you're probably looking at me pretty crazy right now because I'm wearing bifocals. Well, recently I found out that my eyesight is pretty bad, which is the reason I've been having headaches and some other issues. So yeah, now I have to wear glasses. So hope you like them. But in this video, I'm going to share with you all an experiment over 30 days. I actually decided to test the theory that too much masturbation is going to lower your testosterone levels. So I started to look at Pornhub a little bit more often to see if no, I'm just kidding. I actually didn't do that. Low testosterone for individuals, especially men, it can, whew, it can be a pretty big deal. Going on YouTube is Bully Juice here. If you're new to my channel, welcome aboard for my OG return of bullies out there. Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to share with you all whether or not masturbating too much kills your gains. That's the goal of this video. We need to know this. Testosterone is literally the driving force to building muscle. Like I said before, you want to make sure your body has the proper environment for the gains. That's eating right. That's make sure you're doing the proper lifting reps sets, everything, list goes on, including testosterone. But before we get into all of that jazz, let's decide whether or not we have low testosterone or not. As a man, if you have difficulty getting an erection, that might be because you have low testosterone or low semen volume, fatigued a lot of times, hair loss, decreased bone mass, loss of muscle mass, mood changes, or very small testicles. Now, some of these symptoms I've just mentioned could also be caused by other things like depression, anxiety, terrible diet, the list goes on. I know it's like, ah, oh, so many things to worry about, but you have to remember, nothing good comes easy. So a lot of people won't be willing to do the right things to put their body in the right environment to get the gangs. A thousand times I get called a freaking steroid junkie a day and it's like, okay. It's either that or he just has good genetics. Ignore the fact that I work hard and I do what I'm supposed to do. No, I simply look the way I look, get strong because of either genetics or because of steroids. Like, anyway, before we can talk about the cons revolving around masturbation and your addiction to Pornhub, Let's talk about the pros to playing with your pud. Number one, it reduces stress, which leads me to number two, an elevated mood and boost in concentration and also it's supposed to improve your sex while enhancing your sleep quality and lastly, reducing menstrual cramps. Ugh. I don't know about that last one but I'm, I'm just telling you what the scientist is saying. And it's cool, right? It's, it's a moderation thing because too much of anything is not good for you, which leads me to trying to figure out whether or not you are addicted to masturbating and porn and stuff like that. So if masturbating is like something you do a lot, like a lot, and it starts to cut into normal things that you're supposed to do. Let's say you're supposed to be doing homework, but you much rather masturbate, or you're supposed to be going to work, but you're showing up late because you're in the middle of masturbating. That's a sign that you might be addicted to masturbating. You should probably try to find other ways to spend your time. If your friends are like, hey, we're gonna go to the movies at this time, and you're caught up in masturbating and watching Pornhub, so as a result, you're kind of missing these appointments or uh, missing opportunities to spend with family and friends because of masturbating, it's an addiction at this point in time. And I mean this with nothing but love, you might need some help. But ultimately, I want to make this video as short as possible because who wants to talk about masturbating and stuff for like a very long time? Not this guy. What is the connection between masturbation and testosterone. That's the important piece here. When you ejaculate during sex or masturbation, your levels of testosterone actually rise quite a bit. And once you're finished, they fall back to normal levels. So it doesn't necessarily increase any test in your body and it doesn't necessarily lower it, does it? It kind of stays the same. 
not quite because a few studies have been found that abstaining from ejaculating whether that be through masturbation or sex for three months or longer may actually reduce test levels just a little bit but once sexual activity have went back to its normal level once you start you know ejaculating again the levels go back to normal however a recent study have shown that frequently masturbating like doing it a lot, like we talked about earlier, may actually lower your androgen receptors in your brain while also creating an addiction to endorphins because when you get that pleasure and stuff, you know, endorphins are released in your brain. The same when you're playing your favorite video game or watching your favorite movie or, you know, doing some type of drug, endorphins are released in, oh, this feels amazing, this is cool, it's pleasureful, right? One could become addicted to endorphins just like you become addicted to adrenaline and other things that your body naturally produces. And you never want to be addicted to something. Okay, we can talk about being addicted to working out and looking good. That's fine, That's all. it's all fine and dandy, but the truth of the matter is you never want to be addicted to something. You want to always remain in control of what you are doing. Yeah, I can say I'm addicted to working out, but ultimately I am in control over whether or not I go to the gym to work out. The gym is not like something where I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to do it. Side note, it's a little, little rant, but make sure you are always in control over whatever's going on, whether that be taking a sip of alcohol or doing whatever. You are the one in charge. But androgen receptors help your body utilize the testosterone that it produces. So that could, you know, slightly affect things. But if you notice throughout the course of this video and my research, it's been slightly, it's been small amounts of things over time that you may notice, very small in my opinion. So what I found is that masturbating too much or not masturbating enough affects your test levels at a very, very small percentage that in my opinion, do not believe is going to ultimately help you or hurt you from building more muscle. Now it is true, like I always say, every little bit counts and that's that's true. We, we all want as much testosterone as possible. That's why I would say, make sure everything is utilized in a balance right it's a balance to everything balance is important so make sure you're thinking about that as always i hope you guys enjoyed the video not channel make sure you do so join my nation so come on first first we gotta get the 500k we gotta get the half a million we gotta get there fast but the next time guys i'm gonna have to catch y'all later